like just the guy climbed up the building, they asked him to get down, he got down, the security guards detained him, claiming that he was still on their property but they wouldn't let him leave. So um, he then tried to escape. They um, chased him onto the road and decked him on the road and gave him to the police who took him away. It, they did, I, it doesn't seem like they had the authority to do what they did and they were fairly brutal about the way they did it. I mean, our campsite uh, has been there for, as you know, five days. We've been completely peaceful and self-sufficient. Uh, we are the first aid guys, and we've just been looking after minor injuries. Until this morning, until this morning, when not one of our occupiers, not one of the occupiers instigated a violent act. They maintained their behaviour all the way through. They were peaceful to the end. The violence, without doubt, and I'm a nurse, and the violence came from the state. It came from the police. I saw, I saw a young man being asphyxiated by two, two coppers with his arms around his neck, dragging him. You do not need to be a nurse to realise dragging someone by their neck is going to strangle them. I saw these, our friends in the jumpsuits reaching over and punching, punching students in their heads. Bending, bending men's arms behind their backs to break them off. Not one occupier raised their fist. Not one occupier raised their fist. And I want the world to know that. And I want people to carry on occupying. We're going to stay peaceful, but we're going to keep spreading the word. And we're not going to let this crush us. They just came in and ripped us out. I got kneed in the face. Um, but I think people need to stand up and fight for their rights. Because this is part of a global solidarity movement um, in support of the people in uh, Wall Street, in New York, in um, Athens, in uh, Cairo, Egypt, in Bahrain. Uh, people are standing up and fighting against um, the government wherever they are because, I mean, you can see it's not really democracy, is it?
Yeah, well, I think it's a, it's pretty much a game of two halves with the police here today. Um, I think they've, they've shown a lot of restraint under provocation, but at the same time, I thought the use of police dogs um, bringing them in here was excessive. Um, but overall, I think I think the police have handled it pretty well. So here are people sitting on the occupation talking about politics and how to maybe make the world better. And the police goes to these groups, sitting friendly and throws them out. But the police does not go in the parliament and throws the other politicians out, which are talking maybe nearly about the same stuff to make it better for us. Thanks very much. <laughs>